dear students in this video i am going to explain introduction to chromatography here i will explain history of chromatography terms used in chromatography classification of chromatography and types of illusions in chromatography now let's start chromatography is a separation or purification technique advanced chromatographic techniques like hplc gc supercritical fluid chromatography can separate highly complex samples like plant extract protein samples etc the chromatography was invented by m swett a russian botanist in 1906 he separated chlorophyll xanthophyll and several other colored substances by percolating vegetable extract through a column of calcium carbonate he packed calcium carbonate in a glass column and then he allowed a separating solvent to pass through the calcium carbonate packing then he added vegetable extract and afterwards he found that colored bands are separated on further analysis he found that the colored bands are of chlorophyll xanthophyll etc the calcium carbonate column acted as adsorbent and the different substances got adsorbed to different extent and this will give rise to colored bands at different position and that's why he gave the name chromatography to this technique chroma means color and graphy means writing chromatography may be defined as method of separating a mixture of components into individual component through equilibrium distribution between two phases chromatography is based on differences in the rate at which the components of mixture move through the porous medium called stationary phase under the influence of some solvent or gas called moving phase stationary phase which is porous in nature it is packed in a column and mobile phase is allowed to move through this stationary phase now mobile phase along with sample molecule will move down through the column in simple column chromatography mobile phase will move move down through the column due to gravity sample molecules will travel along with mobile phase through the pores of stationary phase now some sample molecules will travel fast and travel down to the column and some sample molecules will travel slowly through the pores of stationary phase now due to difference in this movement of sample molecule separation will occur now we'll go for terms used in chromatography first term is stationary phase it is a fixed phase which is either held in a column or on a plate it retains the sample on it it is either solid or liquid in nature sometimes it is also known as adsorbent stationary phase is packed in column here mobile second phase, uh, term is mobile phase it is a moving phase which moves through the pores of stationary phase and carries solid solute molecules with it mobile phase is either liquid or gas in nature next term is solute or analyte it is a mixture whose individual components have to be separated or and analyzed in short it is a solute or analyte means sample mixture next term is eluent it is a fluid entering the column or running through the plate it is also known as mobile phase it is a mobile phase which is entering in the column or running through the plate eluent it is the fluid exiting the column it is collected in a beaker at the end of column now there is a difference between eluent and eluate eluent is mobile phase entering the column and eluate is the mobile phase exiting the column now when it is exiting the column it it may be having solute molecules with it now the entire process is known as elution 
the process of washing out a compound through column using suitable solvent is known as elution now there are two types of elutions first is isocratic elution and second is gradient elution in isocratic elution the mobile phase composition is kept constant or fixed throughout the analysis now for example if our mobile phase is methanol and water in 50 50% now this methanol is to water in 50 50% this composition is kept constant throughout the analysis then it is called as isocratic elution polarity of mobile phase is not changing in this type of elution now such type of elution is used for samples whose polarity is known or generally it is used for known samples second elution is gradient elution the mobile phase composition is changed during analysis for example again we'll take the example of methanol and water in first during the first minute of analysis the composition is 50 50% in the next minute it will be uh, methanol 51 and water 49 in next minute it will be methanol 52 ml and water 48 ml in next mi minute it will be 53 ml methanol and 40 7 ml water and so on so that means mobile phase composition is changing during the analysis now this change it may be either linear or stepwise mobile phase polarity changes during the experiment because we are changing the solvent concentration that's why polarity of mobile phase will change during the analysis this gradient elution is used for unknown sample or complex mixtures now we'll go for classification of chromatography that is types of chromatography first classification is based on bed shape of stationary phase in that first class is planar chromatography where the stationary phase is either coated on a plate or it it is a piece of paper it is not packed in column for example paper chromatography tlc hptlc now these are some plates which are used in tlc and hptlc the stationary phase is coated on these plates the chromatography is in open plate open it is not packed in column and that's why it is known as planar chromatography second type is column chromatography where the stationary phase is packed in column for example lipid chromatography hplc gc etc now uh, these are some columns which are used in hplc in such type of st stainless steel columns the stationary phase is packed and such columns are used in hplc the columns of gc and liquid chromatography are different Second classification is based on interaction of solute molecules with stationary phase. In this classification, first class is adsorption chromatography. Here, the solute molecules will adsorb on stationary phase. The separation will occur due to differences in the adsorption affinity of solute molecules. The examples of such chromatography is TLC, HPTLC, GSC, etc. Second class is partition chromatography. Here, the solute molecule will partition between the two liquid phases. First is stationary liquid and second is mobile liquid. The separation will occur due to difference in the partition coefficient of solute molecules. Example of such chromatography is paper chromatography, HPLC, GLC, etc. Next class is ion exchange chromatography. This is the next type of chromatography. Here, the separation will occur due to ion exchange mechanism. Next is gel permeation chromatography, which is also known as size exclusion chromatography. 
here the separation of solute molecules will occur due to differences in their size or differences in their molecular weight so these are types of chromatography i hope you understood all these concepts thank you for watching my video thank you